All right, once again, I, I, I'm a causalist. I'm just going to analyze what I see. This right here, you see that clear little dot? And you see this little brown dot? And it's facing out this way, that little dimple on it? You see the architecture of this? Okay. Now, you see underneath here, this is all corroded away, whatever was there before. Now, you see the architecture here looks, to me, similar to what a human fingertip would look like. There's, and I have the anatomy of it on the side, and it dives down in, and it just, obviously, you know what your finger is like, and this looks like, for all the world, some form of a finger like that. Now, this appears to me to be the product of blood and bodily fluids that would run out of a fingertip totally expected from the vein but not the uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry from the artery but not the vein as I showed you before the veins have clamps and that's why this is still brown and it can't let that blood go backwards because it's dirty blood it has to go back here to get cleaned. This is this fibrous material that you see here. You may have a hard time seeing it, but it's a strappy, fibrous material. And then on the bottom, you see all this bodily fluids and blood, I believe is what it was. It ran out of here and congealed, and this lay in this manner. And ionically, it precipitated through here. The percolates came through here because these happen in wet environments. And that eroded away to this point right up to where the blood is, <laughs> funny enough. Now, all of these similarities to a fingertip are just too much to to pass over. Now, I believe this, again, I, I, in my mind that looks like it could be garnet. It's crystal of some sort, there's no question about that. And if you look very, very closely at it, it's a red crystal, and if it's garnet, that takes on a whole new meaning. Because there is a lot of garniferous stuff. But there's too much to discount here, because everything that I just showed you is exactly what you would expect on the death process. The blood gases squirt out from your fingertips almost exclusively, totally expected. The vein, the artery, the look, totally expected. The architecture of everything here, totally expected. The only thing that's not expected is it's, it's what's considered olivines, garnets, there's all kinds of things here. It can be tested. All this stuff can be tested. I don't have those resources and means to do it. But there's no question in my mind that this represents something that was alive. And I, again, if somebody thinks they have a credible explanation for all of this obvious, totally expected, if it was alive, to come up with some other explanation boggles my mind. But I'm sure somebody's going to try to say, well, I know they've all said it to me. Oh, it all looks like, oh, it can make anything look like anything. Oh, you're just a silly guy. Well, I don't think so. I'd like to have somebody present some truly reasonable explanation for this other than the explanation that is the obvious explanation of life. This is not about God. I'm not trying to push creation. You know, you make your own decision. That's up to you. That's a big thing in people's life. I know, don't want to intrude. But this here is what I'm saying it is. And I, nobody can give me a reasonable counter-argument. Please, if you can, I'm waiting. Thank you. Alright, this refers to the vein, the valves that are in veins. They're not in arteries, but the veins are the dirty blood heading back. And they go through like this, and then 
they can't go back. You see, it pinches them off in this little dimple formation like that. Just remember that. And those are only in veins.